Oh. In June 2000. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? We're gonna react to another one of these police vlogs. Shout out Cold Blue. In June 2023, police were received several tips concerning the illicit sale of drugs in the area of Coon Valley, Wisconsin. Oh. Based on information obtained from a reliable source, 33-year-old Stanley Holt and 39-year-old Julia Lloyd were allegedly involved with trafficking significant amounts of methamphetamine and fentanyl throughout La Crosse, Vernon, and Monroe counties in Wisconsin, as well as in Houston County in Minnesota. Additionally, there were reports suggesting that Julia was expecting to receive a large amount of fentanyl in the mail. Following this, deputies and investigators from various law enforcement agencies were called upon to aid the La Crosse Police Department in executing a search warrant at the suspect's residence in Coon Valley, Wisconsin. For safety concerns and to prevent evidence tampering, police opted to contact Stanlia and Julia away from their residence before conducting the search warrant. Stanley has a history of evading law enforcement, resisting arrest, and violent confrontations with oh, officers. Shit. Furthermore, he was on probation for offenses, including possession with intent to distribute amphetamine, resisting arrest resulting in officer injury, and armed burglary. He was also Damn. released from prison in early 2022 after serving time for drug charges. On June 12th, during surveillance, an investigator observed Stanley leave his residence and follow another vehicle to a village park, where a male from the other vehicle entered Stanley's before Good leaving. Holy. Later, a deputy noticed Stanley and the unidentified male parked on a roadside, likely engaging in a drug deal. When the deputy approached, they quickly got back into the car. Hey, I'm out with the vehicle here, ATM 4222 uh, lane. I think this is uh, uh, ahead of me. A traffic stop was then initiated, during which Stanley pulled into a random driveway. As the deputy approached Stanley's vehicle, he claimed he was having car problems. Oh, your car's acting up. Well, it looks like a nice car. Uh, it's all right. Gotcha. Cool. All right. That's a cool car. It's got some electric problems. You guys live up here somewhere? I live right here. Oh, okay. My dad owns it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. I actually need to talk to you about something about some dogs. Can you come back here and talk with me real quick? Dogs? Yeah. Yep. Just come back here and talk with me quick. 15. I'm going to be up at that party here. You guys got some pit bulls? We have. Well, I got the police on. Some on the bottom. It's got like tumors all over them. Your pit bull does? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's old. He's 14. Gotcha. Okay. He he he, be, he has these. Uh, yeah. Actually, here. Hey, hey you heard that in the voice, yeah. I, I need you to turn around, put your hands behind your back for a second, okay? Yep. Oh. Yep. You're being really cool, but I just need to talk. Oh, they plan. They play okay? that. Because I told you to turn around they behind your back. We have Ooh, stuff finessing. we need to talk with you about, okay? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, they finesse. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Who is that? Stanley. I'm not gonna hey, keep telling Nelson. you. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. About? Stanley? Stop. Stanley, turn around and put your hands behind your back. Do it now. Stop. What are you doing? Stop, Stop. Stop. I'm gonna about? tase you. Hey. Hey. Taser, taser, taser. Hey. Oh. Dude, okay. Stop. Okay. Okay. Tase you again. Behind your back. Okay. Behind your back. Then behind your back. Then behind your back. You're okay. gonna get it again. Okay, behind your back. Bring your hands behind your back. Do it now. Behind your back, Stanley. Get the guy in the other car. Okay. Then put your hand behind you your back. Me. You put your me. hand behind your back. Stop, Stop. trying to fight, hey. Stanley. It's not <laughs> Due to his continued resistance, an additional 50,000 volts were kindly provided. <laughs> put it behind your back. I can't Yo. breathe. Put it behind your back. Hey, taser, taser, taser. The taser. Oh, your an additional... They said an additional 50,000 volts was this? Do what they say? An additional 50,000 volts was kindly added. <laughs> That's some shit like that. Hey, I can't breathe. Man, I, I'll look. Okay, then put your hand behind you your back. You you put your me. hand behind your back. Stop, Stop trying to fight, Stanley. Stop. Stop. It's not Due to his continued resistance, an additional 50,000 volts were kindly provided. Hey, kindly hey, provided. I can't breathe. Put your hands behind your back. Put it behind your back. I can't breathe. Put it behind your back. Oh taser, taser, God. taser. Oh, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh.
Oh. Stop fighting, Stan. This is not going to help I'm gonna you. Run, I'm going to cycle it again if you don't put your oh. hands behind your back. Quit being stupid. Please don't. Hold on. Please. Hold on. Oh. I can't. Stop. Oh. 15 log guy. Uh, I'm good. Two taser deployments and uh, one. I'm not doing nothing. Hey. Can you please? Ow. Don't move. Stop okay, moving. Hey guys. Damn it. Let me breathe. Okay. Then Let stop trying breathe. to pull away from us. I'm not. I'm cool. Come on. I'm f***ing handcuffed. I'm not going anywhere. Dude. I got probes. One here too. Stanley, can we remove this probe from your side? What? Can we yeah. pull this other oh, probe yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Figured you wouldn't I, care, but we like to ask. I didn't know what was still in there. Right. Yep. Here, help me out. Just hold on, buddy. Sit, Just sit up. Sit on your butt. I you can't breathe. Right there. Right there. Uh, Jesus. You have any weapons on you? Oh, <laughs> the second male occupant. Hey. Yo, he whistled that shit and he did it like a creepy man. I'm like, do you have any weapons on you? <laughs> Like a creepy man would try to buy something off you. Ben was also taken out of the vehicle and arrested. May I have you come back and sit on this seat here? Why'd you try to run? Why were you running for us? Running? Jogging? He's just all of a sudden wants to freaking. Want to detain you? You were getting a little sketched out, Stan. Huh? I can tell you were getting a little sketched out. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is a little crazy. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're just going to sit here for right money. now, okay? I'm smoke my cigarette. Uh, not right now. What? Maybe you're a cooperative, Stan, right? <laughs> I was. I was talking to him. And then he told well, me to put my hands behind my back for no reason. Stan, I'm just going to look at you. Make sure there's no other probes in you anywhere, okay? You feel any anywhere? Yeah. You got anything in your pockets that we need to know about, Stan? Oh. I'm going to just I'm double lock D, check over. these, and make sure they're double locked so they don't get tightened up on here, okay? Right, here, give me a second. I'll try to loosen it just a teeny little bit. Just hold still. You don't need to do anything. Well, Ma. We'll just, just hold on, okay? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll explain it all you're to You're going to find all about it in a second here. Who's the other guy? I, know know I think he was doing a delivery because they met down in the park. Yep. Hopped into his car and took a ride. Sitting at the stop sign, pulling in, yeah. and I'm trying to look down. <laughs> the lead investigator on this case is not here right now, okay? So it's gonna be just a little bit, okay? You got some in the car? I didn't know they were up there already. Yeah, yeah. well, I just I found that out. I'm not gonna run. We gotta see. Okay, let's Well, you already did it once. It is really tight. Well, we can maybe try to adjust them in a minute, but you haven't made this easier for yourself. This could have been real calm, real chill. What? Here, actually, I don't understand. why don't we just use this car here? Yep. I'm just gonna search. Yep. Yeah, that's why. That's why I told you you were just being detained. Stan, I'm gonna check your pockets here quick, okay? Okay. Go ahead. A search was conducted on Stanley, and a large roll of cash totaling more than twenty-five hundred dollars was discovered. Because you're gonna go in the back of my car. Mm. Got. Quite a bit of so. cash here. I don't really want that. Do you got like a bag or something? Do you got a bag or something I can put? Uh, I'll, yeah, we'll grab one. I just don't want your stuff, your money to blow away here. Probably won't be very happy if that happens. I know you're being calm right now, but just give us a second. That's something we can maybe talk here. Got some mall right now, okay? When we finish searching your stuff and little pockets and one. My home will be smoking them now, so I'll fuck with them. Once we find a lighter, maybe we can let you have one. Hey. You got any weapons or anything anywhere? No, no weapons, man. How about in the car? No. Okay. I appreciate that, but you did once already, so now you know we gotta like make sure it doesn't happen again. Right? Something going to get tased again, right? Dude, that hurts. I imagine. Right? Yep, I'm just checking your pockets here, because you're gonna go in the back of my car, and I don't want anything back there that shouldn't be there. And or any weapons or guns or anything like that. You guys didn't read me any rights. You're not being arrested. Well, at least you weren't before. You were just being detained. Yeah. Detained, yep. So that means we were going to hang out a little bit, and I was going to place you in handcuffs for both of our safety until somebody who needs to talk to you could get here. Get anything in your shoes at all? Oh my God, you freak me out. Like, huh? Sorry if I freaked you out. I think I before we have you sit in my car, though. Is there anything behind this belt buckle at all? No. What? Didn't y'all already yeah. search him? We just got here. No, we aren't going to let him fall out. We just don't want to miss anything. You're asking me about my dogs. Mm -hmm. okay, so what's about the dogs? What's, you, back up? what's that? You got a couple of shirts on there. You got. Before we go in the car, I'd like you to humor me and just kick your shoes off for me real quick. We'll let you put them back on. I just want to make sure there's nothing in there. I've had a. I've had a couple of bad experiences with that. So. Yeah, we're just checking. So all you guys showed up for what? To talk. Let's put your foot in there. 
I, I promise it's gonna all be explained to you here shortly, okay? You just gotta, just kinda bear with us, all right? Everything takes a little time. We're gonna take a walk over here real quick and just have a seat in the back of my car for a minute. You put me in handcuffs. What side do you want on that? Let's go on the passenger side. I can detain somebody if I have a reason, and I did. The reason, sir. We can talk about it. Just have a seat for me right Just now. Say okay? it. What you mean? Say the reason. I never said that. If you, not right if you keep like being like really cool and cooperative, I'll go Just see where your it. cigarettes went, okay? And then we'll talk. We'll see about it in a little bit. But right now, I'd like you to sit in my car for me, okay? I mean, super. God, God, I tell you what. If you sit shit. there, we'll light up a cigarette, and you can smoke it, and you can sit with your feet out of the car and just sit on the seat there. Will that work for you? Promise. I promise. Go ahead and sit down for me. But obviously, we're not taking the cuffs off. Yep. Yeah, the cuffs have to stay on. But if you sit down, I don't want you to fall over. Okay. Okay, just sit right there. Come out there. Lighter in there yeah, I saw one. Otherwise, I got one in my car. But you do have to sit down for me, all right? That's part of the deal. A canine unit was then deployed on his vehicle, resulting in a positive alert. Oh, in the whip too. Excitement you didn't probably expect. That's today. a fly little old school little car <laughs> too. Okay. She might have to leave here. Yeah, we're at, we got a tow truck coming, so we'll get it out of here okay. as soon as we can. Yeah. And we can move our cars. I mean, we can get her home too. Whatever you need us to move, let us know. We can move. Her. No, that's fine. Just, just let her know what's going on. Okay. Phone. Here, I got oh, how here. kind of thing is this? Yeah, they just ended up pulling in here. It's probably no, they don't want to come here. Yeah. Come on. Good, Bobby. Maybe Matt out. You got it. Matt's just better at lighting up smokes than I am. Yeah. Yep. We're just gonna hang out and we're not gonna have any more problems. When you when you told okay. me you, you gotta understand, I've been arrested a few times and okay, it's like some PTSD. A little PTSD. So they get them PTSD, PTSD huh? I don't know. When when I when we crossed the hill, Rich and I, they were on the ground fighting the two burning guys and the target. And uh, I ran over there and he's on his stomach, but he wasn't giving his hands. So I gave him a couple of warnings, taser warnings, didn't do it. So I got him right in the back and then he complied. But they, uh, he already been tased once too. So I don't know if the, the second once. probe wasn't. Uh, Stop playing, boy. Y'all know you tase him like go. Two, three times, man. Come on. Hit him on that first taser. And Second time. Was it was more house, stronger than the first the time. With some of this thing. Is that been searched? No. I got search it. I got a toll on the way. I'll go with you guys to meet Andy at the house. All right. You guys take that. Yep. Yeah, I'll stay here and take out the So why didn't she come into my house and talk? How would that have worked out? Yeah. If you would have knocked on the door, I don't think you would have probably answered the door, would you? Yeah. Seems to be how it usually works. I don't know. It's not my case. I'm yeah. just saying that. That'd be my first thought. Okay, let's just sit down for me, all right? That's part of the deal, remember? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, okay, just have a seat for me. I don't think they're getting any tighter. Yeah, well, they're, they're supposed to be carpet. tight. What, what you doing? Stop playing with that carpet, girl. Oh, no. My bad, putting you on that. What is it? Oh, damn, I did it again. I'm going to get a towel. My bad. My bad, John. <laughs> hey, they're not really made for comfort. So who is it that's coming at the cops say that's an investigator with the lacrosse police department. What's he want? That's what he's gonna to talk to you about. So I'm not gonna, you know, go into right. his stuff. I don't, I don't have the full story. Actually, I don't know that much of it. So it's gonna be just stuff he needs to talk to you about. I think it'll all make sense to you eventually. I see. What was so hard about saying that? That the investigator was gonna come talk to you. So would that yeah. made any have? Would that have made any difference? Yeah. I mean, I mean, at least tell a guy what's going on. Exactly. Just, if you want to go ahead and hop all the way in. The police, the plan is over. 
for me, okay? I guess he wants to talk to you at the sheriff's department, so that's what we're gonna do, okay? We, we need to get going, I'm sorry. I let you have one, which is more than most officers would do, especially after you just ran from him and made you tase you. So, um, but anyway, I need you, I do need you to put your feet in the car so we can get going here, okay? Do you need a hand at all? You're kind of a big guy. Go ahead, take it easy there. Man, okay, so get right. in the car, Stan. You really can't. Scoot all the way in, Stan. Just swing your feet around in front of you here, okay? I can't feel my hand. Okay, they're, they're fine, Stan. I already checked them. The, the quicker you get in the car, the quicker we can get to the sheriff's department, and then we can get them. We can just take them right off you, yeah, okay? Put your back up okay. against the seat here like how you would normally sit. I know it's a little tight, but I'm pretty sure you can get your butt over your back over against the back of the seat there, okay? And I do need you to do that right now. You know what I mean. Just slide that way. Try to get your back up against the back of the seat there for me. The search oh. revealed a substantial quantity of meth and an unknown substance, potentially meth. Oh. A substantial quantity of meth and an unknown substance, potentially meth or fentanyl. Due to indications yeah. of potential man? drug influence, right, he was transported to a man. Tell you, man. hospital for a blood draw so why don't you go ahead and have a seat back in there again for me and we're going to head right to hey, the hospital hey. okay all right so i'm going to get head over to the hospital here law enforcement then rolled up to stanley's residence and executed the search warrant julia answered the door and was subsequently arrested upon searching and tearing the living shit out of the residence oh. officers discovered multiple plastic bags containing illegal drugs and drug paraphernalia scattered throughout more than three pounds of meth were seized, Damn. alongside with other substances. Scales, all that special walkie-talkies. Hey, I love that scale in the middle. That's my favorite scale right there. That's my favorite type of scale right there. That one got go to 500 grand. I love that one. I used to use that one like a motherfucker. Um... Damn, hella grand bags, stacks of cash. What's that right there? Look, what? Air tag, key tag looking thing? GoPro? Damn, I said that weird as yeah. Because we got the headphones on. We need to be talking a little different sometimes. You can say GoPro? <laughs> a GoPro. I need to lie, I got some, some this, including right heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine. Additionally, numerous cocaine, empty bags commonly used for drug distribution were found, along with cash totaling over $49,000. Oh, Julia consented to investigators bags. accessing her phone, revealing text messages related to drug transactions. Furthermore, a canine unit alerted Damn, officers so to a vehicle. That drug trafficking, yeah, when they find the messages on the phone, yeah, they're going to hit you with the drug trafficking. They can hit you with that without the message. Just if they see the, the you know what I'm saying? The, 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 shit, the drugs and the scales and, you know what I mean? The bag and packaging and shit. Then they can hit you with that. Parked outside the residence, where a search uncovered a one pound package wrapped in black electrical tape suspected of containing methamphetamine. Oh. Julia was eventually taken into an interview room at the sheriff's office. However, she exercised her right to remain silent. Hey, she looked like she was talking though, even though she was talking about, even though she said, even though they said she was silent at the, at the interview, she seemed like she was talking when they came to the house. I could be wrong. Stanley though. was charged with felony counts of possession with intent, meth, fentanyl, maintaining a drug trafficking place, misdemeanor counts of resisting obstructing an officer, possession of drug paraphernalia, and operating with a restricted controlled substance. Second offense, all repeated charges. Julia was charged with felony counts that's of like possession. That's like basically equipment you can use to like consume. Wow with intent yeah, meth fentanyl maintaining fine. a drug trafficking oh, place really... and misdemeanor yeah. possession of oh. drug paraphernalia all repeated charges too oh, no, no. subsequently 
both were each given a $500,000 cash bond and eventually indicted on federal drug charges, ultimately being found guilty. The third male who was with Stanley during his arrest was released on a $2,000 signature bond with conditions. As of April 2024, Stanley received a federal prison sentence of 11 and a half years, to be followed by five years of supervised release. Julia, on the other hand, was sentenced to six and a half years in federal prison, also to be followed by five years of supervised release. Want a deeper look into the channel or craving additional content?